name is Megan, and today I'm going to walk you through how to design your very first form. Let's get started. First thing is first, you'll need to log into the Secure Cloud platform. Open your favorite web browser and navigate to secure.formsonfire.com. Log in with your email address and password. If you started a free trial or you're a client, you should have received this information by now. If you do not have a login, that's okay. Just click our website listed below in the description and click the Try It Free button. Once you're logged into the Secure Cloud platform, use the main menu on the left-hand side and click on Apps, then Screens. Creating a new form is easy. Just click the green Add New button, give your form a name, and press Create. We'll call our form Simple Form. Once you click Create, you're automatically taken to the form designer. On the left, you'll notice a list of different field types. Fields are basically different inputs you can add to your form. You can add fields to your form just by clicking and dropping them into the form designer in the center. Let's build a simple form. I'm going to add a couple of basic fields and a choices field. These fields will be added to the first page of our form, which we will call simple page. You can add as many pages as you'd like to your form, but for now, we're just going to keep everything on the first page. Let's rename the fields we just added. To do that, just click on the field and type the desired text into the title text area on the right hand side. I'm going to type in client name for the first text field, client phone number for the second text field, and client email for the third text field. For the choices field, I'm going to type a question asking, is the entrance fire alarm working? Let's give our question three options, yes, no, and NA. The choices field type even allows you to select the color of your choices options. Let's choose green for yes, red for no, and blue for NA. Let's say when the user selects no, you want to require them to add comments. For the last text field, let's call it comments with a simple visibility rule stating this field only shows when the question is answered with no. Let's also make this field required. Let's add an action field type that will allow the user to submit the form. When the user clicks submit, the data will be sent from the mobile device to the Forms on Fire Cloud platform. Finally, we'll deploy the form into test mode to just our user as to not interrupt what other users see. Test mode allows you to seamlessly make changes to your form design while being able to test quickly on your mobile device. Before we give our form a test in the Forms on Fire mobile app, let's build an output template and add a simple email connector. Let's say when we submit our simple form, we want to receive an email copy with a PDF report. In the upper left-hand corner of the form designer, click on Settings. The Settings page has a lot of options, but for this video, we want to quickly build a Word template by using the Get Sample link under Advanced Options. This will begin an automatic download to your computer. Open the download in Microsoft Word. This is a quick and easy way to get started building a template for your form. Let's delete the first page and make a few modifications using the data name column. Like Mail Merge, the platform places dynamic values where the data name placeholders are in the document. Let's save our changes and head back to the online form designer. Click on Connectors from the upper left hand side of the page. The connectors area is where you decide what happens once the form is submitted from the Forms on Fire mobile application. Let's add an email connector by clicking the black Add Connector button and then Email. The email connector has a lot of great features like choosing how your data is sent, who the email goes to, who the email comes from, and customizing the subject, body, and attachment name. Let's send our data as a PDF 
to the user that submitted the form entry and we'll put in the subject body and attachment name, new submitted form. Click on select new and choose your word template. Press the green save button to save. Now pick up your favorite mobile device and open the forms on Fire mobile application. You'll see simple form on your main mobile dashboard. Just click on the icon to open the form. We'll put in some data and press the submit button to finalize our data submission. In just a matter of seconds, we'll now receive an email with our PDF report. How great is that? Now you know how to get started building your very first form. Don't forget to say hello to our friendly tech support team. Just give them a call. Join me for our next tutorial video, Mobile Forms at Work, Beautifully.